Welcome to the Freeland Writer's Eye Spotlight Talks for YouTube. Before we begin, I encourage you to use these videos interactively. When you are prompted to observe, pause the video and look carefully. When the educator asks a question, feel free to pause the video again and discuss your observations and ideas, making sure to address what you see that makes you say that. We're excited to share these videos with you and read your Writer's Eye entries. Enjoy! Let's look closely at this screen print by American pop artist Andy Warhol. Take some time to let your eye wander across the canvas. Notice details in the composition. Notice Warhol's use of color. Let's look with intention at the two figures. What do you see? What language might you use to describe the bodies of the figures? Dynamic? Angular, bold. I'm fascinated by Warhol's use of color in this screen print. What do you notice about the use of color to create contrast? What do you notice about the use of color as you compare the two figures? On the left, the figure's skin looks light blue and her features are defined by purple shadows and light pink outlines. In my opinion, the figure on the left appears more lifelike than the figure on the right. The right figure, with pink skin, blue shading, and deep red and purple outlining, appears more abstracted. The features are less defined, fuzzier. The more I look, the more I think the two figures are of the same woman. What do you think? When I looked at this screen print for the first time, a few questions came up. The title tells us that this is Martha Graham. Like me, you may be wondering, who is Martha Graham? Why did Warhol make this work of art about her? I also really wanted to know how Andy Warhol made this print. What other questions do you have when you look at this image? When I researched more about Andy Warhol's process, I found out that this print was produced using the screen printing technique that became the signature medium of Warhol's career. Warhol often used photographs as source material, resulting in a process called photo silkscreen. Just like silkscreen designs on t-shirts, the technique involves creating a stencil of the design, applying the stencil to a fine mesh screen, and then using a squeegee to apply a thin, even layer of ink through the stencil onto the chosen surface. Warhol worked with numerous assistants in his studio, called The Factory, to complete the complex process of separating each photograph into layers of color and applying the stencils to screens. This print was created using four screens, the skin, the hair and stripes, the dress, shadows, and the outlines. From there, Warhol was able to apply colors as he desired, changing the color of each layer to create bold and vibrant compositions. In this case, Warhol used a photograph by Barbara Morgan as source material for his print. Barbara Morgan was an American photographer renowned for her images of modern dancers. It makes me wonder again, who was this woman who captured the imagination of Barbara Morgan and Andy Warhol? Just using observation, what details do you notice about the figure? Does that lead to any interpretations or guesses about who she might be? If you thought she might be a dancer, you are correct. Martha Graham was a legendary dancer and choreographer in the mid 20th century. Known as the mother of the modern dance movement, she had a profound impact on the development of modern dance. She was also a contemporary or peer of Andy Warhol in New York City in the mid 20th century. Warhol produced this screen print as a part of a series to commemorate the 16th anniversary of the Martha Graham Dance Center of Contemporary Dance. Barbara Morgan photographed Martha Graham in the midst of a dance called the Satiric Festival. How might this work honor Martha Graham and her groundbreaking work in the performing arts? Do you think Warhol captured the dynamism and electricity of movement that Graham was renowned for? I think Graham is a fitting choice of subject for Warhol who is renowned for his creating portraits of celebrity figures from sourced images or photographs from newspapers, films, and books. Now that you know a little more about Martha Graham 
and Andy Warhol's screen printing process, I wonder what other questions you might have. After learning more about Warhol's process, I wanted to know more about this curious artist who used images created by other artists to make his own work. I found out that Andy Warhol was born Andrew Warhola in 1928 in a suburb of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He was often sick as a child and would read comic books and magazines and make cutouts when he couldn't go to school. His parents bought him a camera when he was eight, and he took art classes at a museum in Pittsburgh. He went on to study art in college. As an adult, he moved to New York City to begin a career as a commercial artist and illustrator. He quickly became renowned in his field, working for clients including Vogue, Columbia Records, NBC, Tiffany & Co., and many more. In the late 1950s, he began moving away from commercial illustration and took up painting. He would later incorporate his skills as a graphic artist into the development of his signature style, which was characterized by the reproduction of commercial and mass media images, and played a role in the development of the pop art movement. By 1962, Warhol was producing works primarily by screen printing methods. Interested in removing any trace of the artist's hand from his work, Warhol challenged the concept of the unique artwork by repeating the same mechanically produced image until it appeared to be drained of all meaning. What descriptive language can you use to write about this work of art? Try now to write down 10 words or phrases that come to mind when you view this screen print of Martha Graham. We're all looking forward to the day when we can gather safely at the museum. Until then, please reach out to the Education Department with any questions or feedback. Our email is museumoutreach at virginia.edu. Thank you.